thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming at such uh, short notice. My hope is that this will be a very brief first briefing that has been called to address allegations that 65 million kwacha forfeited from uh, Ms. Faith Musonda has been misappropriated by the Anti-Corruption Commission. These allegations are contained in a purported interim management letter, which is circulating on social media and has been carried on uh, uh, mainstream media such as uh, News Diggers newspaper. We wish to start by emphasizing that we have not received the document that is circulating on social media and have only had sight of it from social media and press reports. We are therefore not aware of the authenticity of this document. This having been said, we hope that this letter has not been leaked from the Auditor General's office without it being availed to us first. The history of this matter and the surrounding circumstances raise great concern. Ladies and gentlemen, you may wish to know that the investigation at the Ministry of Finance started in November 2020, long before this board was appointed. Following the investigations, the two Deputy Auditor Generals and the Auditor General were arrested on the 1st March 2023, 2nd March 2023, and 9th March 2023, respectively. Earlier, the Auditor General was interviewed on the 10th of February 2023. On the 3rd of March 2023, we received a formal request for information from the Auditor General's office in furtherance of an audit. The audit was therefore only initiated after the interrogation and later arrest of the top officials in the Auditor General's office. We have every confidence in the office of the Auditor General, which is a key institution of government. We support the work of the Auditor General and we would not want to see a day when that important institution will be deployed to fight personal legal battles of any of its officers. Ladies and gentlemen, please bear with us. We will not address the document that is circulating on social media in its details, but suffice to say that it contains a lot of inaccuracies and details that appear tailored to deliberately embarrass the Anti-Corruption Commission. For example, at page 61 of the purported management letter, there is an allegation that 65 million kwacha forfeited from Ms. Faith Musonda was misappropriated. This is a blatant falsehood. All of you members of the press attended a media briefing and a handover ceremony on the 23rd of February 2022, at which the Anti-Corruption Commission handed over a check for the sum of 65 million 333,000 and 46 kwacha to the Honorable Minister of Finance. There were press reports carried, interestingly, by news diggers that this money had been handed over to the Bazaris Committee by the Minister of Finance. But that's an issue that can only be clarified by the Ministry of Finance. I wish to inform you, members of the press, that the money moved from the Anti-Corruption Commission account at Bank of Zambia to the Ministry of Finance on the 3rd of March 2023. It is therefore not true that this money was misappropriated in this institution. Let me take this opportunity to complain to you, colleagues in the media. We are at pains to see why you colleagues would publish unconfirmed documents when you attended the handover of the money from the Anti-Corruption Commission. No attempt was made to verify any of this information 
with us here at the Anti-Corruption Commission, the Bank of Zambia, or the Ministry of Finance. You members of the press are key partners in the fight against corruption. And in future, we would urge you to avoid publishing alarming statements without at least giving us a chance to verify the same. You are our important partners. We can't fight corruption or ensure accountability without your help. Ladies and gentlemen, corruption fights back. And it does so viciously. And we must not give in to the machinations of those who wish to weaken the Anti-Corruption Commission and the fight against corruption. <clears throat> Having said that, I wish to reiterate that the Anti-Corruption Commission, like any other government institution, is open to accountability and where warranted criticism. But such criticism must be based on fact, not innuendo. We, of course, value audit queries because they help strengthen the institution. But audit queries are queries, which we haven't received, by the way, but they are queries which are subject to answering. The process of a government audit is internal, and it's about clarifying certain important issues. And that is the major reason, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to delve into that document because, first of all, it's uh, something that we haven't received. Secondly, even if there was such a document that was delivered to us, it's a matter that we would have to answer internally and let the Auditor General act on it uh, uh, subsequently. So thank you very much for coming. And I don't know whether we have questions just on what I've said. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, Chair, thank you so much. I think at this point in time, we'd like to, to ask, we'd like to call for questions. <coughs> Returning to the point of discussion, yes, there, after there, the Darius. My name is Mupe Machinala from Millennium Brain. <coughs> You've uh, touched on uh, the Ministry of uh, Finance. I wanted to find out uh, how far are you with the investigations, and uh, I want to get clarity from you on reports that um, some um, um, officers that are accused in uh, that Ministry of uh, Finance issue. Have, um, have asked if they can uh, if, uh, if they can do some refunds and that issue. So I want to get an update on that. And secondly, um, with what you have addressed, does this confirm that, um, or is it to say that uh, the SEC and the Auditor General are working in isolation and there is a back and forth fight between the two institutions? Thank you. Can I answer that? Okay, so all I can say on that investigation is that it's very advanced. Uh, I can't say more than that. On the second question you asked, uh, there is no back and forth and uh, working in isolation. The fact of the matter is there is this leaked document now, which we haven't received, and there were investigations on some, some officers within that institution, and beyond that, there is really no back and forth. The offices of the Auditor General and uh, this institution have always worked very closely. We actually have a memorandum of understanding with them, and uh, it's an institution we value. So that's why we hope that uh, this document has not been leaked from that institution. And if so, we would wonder what the motive would be. Uh, for such a document, which has so many ina inaccuracies to be lifted from an institution as important as that one. Thank you. We now invite you to them on TV. Good morning, um, Board Chair. My name is Darius John from Dam on TV. Just on uh, that concern, I don't been getting updates uh, from uh, the Commission as regards to the ongoing investigations. The last update we've got um, 
Is that the current situation or uh, the consolidation part has been done? And uh, if so, when are we likely to see the case going uh, to court? Because it's a matter that um, the Commission is already investigating sometime in 2022, um, and yet there are other matters that are going to court. Like this, this, this one has not gone um, to court. Then I'd like to seek you know, clarity on um, the authenticity of the leaked um, audit later. Are you saying that this um, letter is, is fake? Is that what you're saying? Let me start with the second uh, issue. That letter has not been delivered to us. In the normal course of government communication, that letter should have been given to us before it's on social media. As we speak, we don't have it. So I cannot comment on the authenticity or otherwise of that document. If in fact it's authentic, there is something fundamentally wrong. Why would it be on social media before it's with us? So I would not like to believe it's authentic if it's on social media, but if it were, it would raise a serious concerns on our part. Uh, the other question, the, the operational team at an appropriate time will interact with yourselves. I, I don't want to get into operational matters. Thank you so much, Chair. I think we had a hand from ZNBC. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Chair. My name is Brian from ZNBC. I uh, just want seeking clarification. Uh -huh. You rightly indicated that the money was handed over from the Minister of Finance <coughs> to, the Minister. to the Minister of Finance last year. I remember covering that event. <coughs> But somewhere in so you were an eyewitness. <laughs> I covered that event. So that's why I'm seeking clarification because I think somewhere in your statement you indicated that the money moved this year. No, 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 no. Sorry. And thank you for clarifying that issue. It moved on the third of March, 2022. Yeah. Okay. It moved a few days after uh, that handover ceremony because it was a, a, a check. A symbolic check. Uh, Mr. Maiba, is that correct on the day? Yeah, Mr. Maiba is our finance uh, director. So, Chair, as far as you are concerned, the money moved from the hands of the ACC. We don't have it. <laughs> Brian, we don't have no. it. I've never seen 65 million in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, I can tell you that that money was handed over. Um, and uh, it moved from the Anti-Corruption Commission. We don't have it, and certainly we didn't misappropriate it. Thank you so much, Chair. I think as we are winding up, we are calling for one more question, just one. Uh, yes, the, mm -hmm. the follow-up to the grand question on the money moving. Um, I mean, the leaked, you know, I need this leaked documents. Maybe, are you able to read? To tell us if procedure was you know followed to hand over the money to the Ministry of Finance and later to the Ministry of Education to students finance. I can't comment on the details of that document. What I can tell you is that no one in the SEC shared money. It was handed over. How can the, the, the issue of, uh, that you raise, the specific issue that has been raised, which we are addressing? is that this money has been misappropriated in this institution and we didn't hand it over. Now we are splitting hairs on procedure. We sent the money to the Ministry of Finance. It's not in this institution. It's been sent and handed over appropriately. So that's the social media commentary at the moment. We wanted to inter interact with yourselves and give you those facts because uh, we, we, you see, the citizenry, an engaged citizenry, that's what I've always thought. An engaged citizen, citizenry is important to us. We value your feedback. We want you to be engaged on corruption matters. And your vigilance is important because it's something that we can use to fight corruption. So we came here to clarify that your corruption fighting entity did not share 65 million quach. It was a handed over. And almost all of you were witnesses to that handover. 
I'm, I'm not sure that the anti-corruption commission would be engaged in a charade to call the minister of finance for a dummy handover and then afterwards share money. Okay.